Hello, Geminis. This is your mid-month reading for the 14th Valentine's Day through the 28th of the month. Happy Valentine's Day, you guys. <clears throat> From me to you. Love you guys. All right. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. We are going to get down with this Celtic cross with these cards face down. All right. Let's see. The energy that's going on around Gemini. Stay. <clears throat> what is challenging Gemini's? The underlying issue here. Recent past. Goings on. Best possible outcome. What's coming in. How do you guys see yourselves? That flipped over, so I'm going to take it. And the influence here. Your hopes. Your fears. And the overall. Okay. What's going on is the Nine of Swords. A lot of you are worrying. What's going on here? Hmm. I feel like you're worrying about things that um, it, it's not as bad as it seems. I, and I think a lot of you, in, in this case, you're psyching yourself out about something here. You're, you're not, it's not like you don't want to see the truth, but it's like right there in front of you and you have blinders on here is what I'm getting, okay? It's like you're closing your eyes and, and not allowing yourself to see the truth. What's challenging you is... I feel like to to break yourself out of out of this use your knowledge that I know you guys have very smart okay and take baby steps you know don't try to figure everything out at once tackle one thing one problem one of these swords okay one thing at a time and figure out how you can resolve that issue Come up with a plan, okay? That's what your challenge is, to get yourself out of this. And the only way you can get yourself out of this is to find a resolve, okay? So let's say, for instance, that um, this is the deed about love. This is a love reading, okay? And if you're feeling like this person um, has possibly moved on, and you guys, you know, want to contact this person, then to solve that problem, go ahead and contact that person. And you're not going to know if they are actually with somebody or not unless you ask them, excuse me, unless you ask them, unless you communicate with them, okay? Because what the streets are saying may not be true. Okay. So, Moving on, how you're feeling about this situation is that you don't want to, you don't want to deal with it is what I'm getting from this. You just don't. You just want to stop having, you know, feeling this way, having these thoughts. Lots of sores here. You want to break from this mental, mental anguish is what I'm getting from you guys. What the underlying issue is here is that there's been, you're mentally conflict, conflicted mentally conflicted um, about what to do in this situation. I feel like you're stuck because I get that this is more about you than anything else. How you're feeling, the actions that, that you're able to take, feeling like your hands are tied, like maybe um, you know this person's not going to hear you out or they're involved with someone. Um, they're still going to be in this argumentative mode even because maybe, you know, you guys did have some conflict when you were together. Okay. But that does not mean that that still is at play here. So I think that you have all of these things going on and, and you want to take action, but your mind is locking you down is what's happening here. Okay. Let's see what was going on in the recent past for you guys. Confusion. 
okay I feel like some of you guys may have felt like you had options maybe you felt like there was another option that was better than the individual that you're thinking about here um, maybe that did not pan out or it didn't work out in the way that you wanted it to or it was like you guys removed yourself and chose something another path for yourself and then realize that this person is more significant to you more important to you than you initially realized there's something going on here with with confusion with illusion okay something in the past maybe you guys did have lots of options maybe you feel like this person has lots of options and chose one of those options other than you okay something like that now the best possible outcome in this situation is to talk it out okay to talk it out because I, I'm getting the the feeling that you know both of you have been hurt here okay but there is there is like the truth in this situation you have your own ideals and your own points of view and so do they but then this sword down the middle is a sort of truth it's what actually is all right the revelation so the best possible outcome is that you guys can discuss these issues and, and get through this together if that is what you want whether you reconcile or whether you guys decide to move on but I think it would clear up definitely um, this uncomfortable feeling this uncomfortable state that you guys are in right now currently okay so what's coming in for you is a four of wands maybe it's an Aries individual here maybe um, with Aquarius or Libra in their chart or both um, but I think stability is definitely coming in for you happiness is coming in for you okay <clears throat> could definitely be a relationship for you guys if that's what you're aiming towards if that is what has you you know in this uncomfortable state really not speaking this is also coming out of that and actually speaking you know realizing what you need to do and, and doing it okay the page of swords does not speak a whole lot so I'm thinking this is like for you to kind of like you know maybe dial it back a notch not come in so hot and heavy like the knight of swords aggressive but you know nevertheless you know being open and honest about what it is that you want or want to talk about even okay so the influence here is the nine of wands I feel like you guys are definitely want to move forward I feel like you definitely want to fight for this. I think this is something that you have fought for before. And maybe you got to the Ten of Wands and you were just done with it. You were done with whatever was going on between you. But I feel that now you're coming back to wanting to fight for it. You don't want it to be over is what I'm getting from this, okay? In your hopes... I feel like you want to be there for this person and you would like for them to be there for you as well is what I'm getting from this. Um, I think that you've been working on yourself. You guys have probably been like nose diving into work to try to distract yourself here. Okay. I believe your money's good. I just do. For most of you, I feel like financially you're straight. But I get now that... Um, you want to be in a relationship this is a committed king right here okay very supportive energy in your fears is a queen of wands I don't know if you're actually afraid of I think what you're afraid of is that this person is going to reject you or is going to still be very angry with you okay if you guys have been in a three-party relationship like if you guys Gemini's put this person in a three-party relationship and this person knows about it some of you are afraid that this person is still very um, scorned and hurt and is going to lash out okay and and then too you guys are wanting this person to still be attracted to you Okay, still want you, still want to move forward with you, still want to be there for you, you know, be the driving force. It's like, I get this person, it's like a steamroller. Like, they, um, they take the initiative in things. It's like, there's somebody I feel that 
that people kind of flock to. It's just their energy. Especially when they're in a good energy. This person, okay. And the overall is a Nine of Cups. I definitely feel like there is an offer that will be made here. Okay. Going towards the things that, um, you know, you, you love. That make your heart sing. And not letting anything or anyone stand in your way. Is what I'm getting here. Okay. So, that is what I have for you guys. And, um, go for it. Go for what you know, you know. I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Did I call out the signs? Scorpio, Aries is very strong here. Aries, Sagittarius, Energy, Leo, um, Libra, any Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, individual. Um, yeah, that's about it. Talk to you guys soon.